All right, check it out. We are doing spirals, part three. If you just jump to part three, I guess that's fine. Spirals are brand new, so um, that's fine. Uh, but you should definitely go back and watch parts one and two. Uh, but if, you know, just the educational interest and intrigue has got you uh, just curious and you want to hear spirals, then stick around. Here we go. Spirals it is. Okay. So spirals, friends. What is a spiral? Well, that, that's a spiral. Um, spirals are everywhere, if you didn't know. Uh, I'm like, uh, you know, looking at flowers. Apparently flowers grow out in spirals, you know, and like uh, seashells and other crazy things like nautilus shells and whatever. Who knows? But we're not here for that. We're here for how do you graph a spiral? Okay. Um, so why does it make a spiral? So this is the equation of a basic spiral. R equals theta. So here we go. R equals theta. Um, why does it make a spiral? So I'm going to start with uh, some ones that maybe uh, could help out. So in radians, friends, okay, in radians is, this is where it gets really helpful, okay, as I open my calculator app and I uh, start to do a little calculation. If I do pi divided by six, okay, so if we say, and I'm just going to make like a little table here. Well, I probably should not use X and Y. So uh, I will say R and theta, okay. So if we say pi over six, I'll go pi over two. I don't know, I'm just picking stuff random. Uh, if I say pi and then maybe like three pi over two, okay. I'm just gonna kinda use some of those. So if I say pi over six in radians, like and I physically do in my calculator pi divided by six, then the decimal that I get is 0.5235, you know, something like that. So what we're saying is when you plug in, right, pi over six, all of a sudden you're saying now pi over six is an angle, but pi over six like is the radius. So as a radius, pi over six is 0.5235. So if you look at, here's pi over six, okay, right? This is pi over six or maybe it's this one over here, not really quite sure, kind of hard to tell, but there's just a point right there, like halfway, right? If I do pi over two, that's like 1.57, right? 1.57. So now if you go out here, right, like to pi over two, this is pi over two right here. So then you go one and then roughly one and a half. So there it is, there's the decimal, okay? Go pi, we know that's like 3.14. So now the radius is roughly 3.14. So at pi, I'm going out to the left because this is pi right here in the polar plane. So then one, two, three, and a little bit more would make it 3.14. If I do three pi over two, I think that's like four point, yeah. So it's like 4.7-ish, okay? So now I'm going down to three pi over two, one, two, three, four, four point seven-ish puts me right there. and then if you did 2 pi, if you called this 2 pi, right, that would be 6.28. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the reason it makes a spiral, like why does it make a spiral, is because as the angle gets bigger, right, because if you go around, right, if we were just making our angles, and you just go around, well, the first time around is 2 pi. But the second time around is 2 pi to 4 pi. And so the angles are essentially doing what? They're getting bigger and so as the angle gets bigger the radius gets bigger and the angles increase so the radius increases and therefore you never see any of it like touch each other it just spirals out okay and so you kind of get this idea of the spiral going out all right so that's why it makes a spiral when it's just when it's just r equals theta okay um you don't have to make a table I just want to talk about why it makes this spiral, right? Um, <clears throat> when I graph spirals, uh, I just try to find a few points, okay? Um, you do have to think in terms of radians. Like, you actually have to, like, calculate a few points, okay? Just to kind of get a feel for it. So if you want to make a table, you can. I'll tell you the ones that I pick usually, right? So, like, um, so if you go R over theta, or R over theta, R and theta, 
Um, so I'll pick usually like the quadrant angles, right? So zero, pi over two, okay? Uh, pi, three pi over two, and two pi. You don't have to do all of them, but like get a feel for the spiral and then, you know, you can go from there. So if you plug in zero, you get zero. So points at zero, zero. Then if you plug in pi over two, right? So it's two times pi over two, that equals pi. So what I'm saying is like actually calculate out pi. So pi is roughly 3.14. So you're saying the radius is roughly 3.14 at pi over two. This is the point that you wanna plot, right? So now over in polar, you're gonna to go to pi over two and you're gonna say one, two, three, and then a little bit more, you're there. And I say, okay, but I don't know where anything else is. Okay, well then maybe you should plug in one of these points. If you're not sure like where some of the other points should be, plug in these points. But it's just gonna be a spiral. So what I'm saying, and I'm not gonna judge anyone, okay, is it's probably just doing this, you know? Or maybe I should have come out a little bit further. Not sure, I'm just doing my best, okay? And then pi, so I'm gonna plug in pi. That means two pi, which is roughly 6.28. So I'm gonna count it out, one. Two, three, four, five, six, roughly. Okay, now I'm way out here. All right, so now we go spiral over here. And what's it gonna do? It's just gonna like keep spiraling. Do you know what I mean? Like it's just gonna keep going. It's not gonna come back into the, the picture here. It's just gonna keep going out as a spiral. So like, I'm probably just gonna stop there. <laughs> like if it gets any bigger, I'm just gonna go off my paper. Um, but that's kind of the idea is I just kind of get a feel for how the spiral is going to go. And if we really desperately want to look at it, go to Desmos and type it in and you should be able to see it. Um, but uh, that's kind of the idea uh, of it. All right. Um, those are spirals. I mean, we could do a hundred of them. Uh, the only thing I would say is if the angle is negative or excuse me, if the coefficient is negative, um, then if you think about it, instead of uh, it going, this way, uh, you'll start uh, down and it'll go that way. Okay, um, so here, I'll, visually is probably a better, uh, that was a bad visual. I'm gonna correct it right now. Uh, new share, Desmos. I have Desmos open somewhere, at least I thought I did. Boom. Okay, nope, I don't have Desmos open. Here, we'll open it up real quick. Hopefully you can see this. That would really be a bummer if you can't. All right, so here's r equals theta. You just type in theta, and there it makes it. Uh, okay, so there you go. So there's your spiral, r equals theta that we graphed. If you make it negative, right, think negative, so that means the radiuses, all these radii that are here would be reflecting over the pole. So instead of being there, right, it'll go that direction. Sorry, I think I even drew it wrong on the last part. So that way it would go rotate down. So through, if you're thinking like third quadrant to fourth quadrant, um, that idea. And so if it's negative, it'll just go the other direction, um, which shouldn't be too, too bad. All right, and you can always check your answers with that. Not a bad thing to do when you are um, learning, okay? So uh, if you are checking your answers with Desmos, I think good about well, they're a little weird. I'm not going to lie to you. They're a little weird. Um, but <clears throat> check it out. All right. Cool. Uh, talk to you later.